My headline of the month is that we're going to see uh, the, the debt uh, situation is going to be resolved, and it's going to involve more taxes, immediate taxes, I think, next year or two, and the spending cuts are going to be down the road. I mean, that's, that's how it's easily done. In other words, it's kicking the can without really kicking the can. Tony, what's your headline? Well, I think it's going to be that uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. There, there will be, or maybe grease gets the squeaky wheel, but there's going to be some kind of bailout okay. to address uh, Greece's issue. And I think that that's more important to our economy, and obviously we think it's important to the European economy, but the interrelationships of our monetary systems between us and the euro, us and the yen, uh, global uh, economies, uh, it's not in anybody's best interest to see. So we've got to be watching the pigs, Portugal, yeah. Ireland, Italy, Greece, and Spain. Doug, any headline for you in terms of energy? What, are there going to be any big announcements coming out, either at your own company or? I, I think in, on the energy side, I think you're going to start to see oil increase in price again. Okay. There's going to be more demand on that, that product. So that's China's nice. economy is going to start driving those oil prices. We, we will never go back to uh, you know a dollar eighty a gallon for gasoline. So even more of a reason for us to be turning no, to absolutely. natural gas. Okay. It, now let's turn to our final segment, the Federal Reserve, which has become uh, uh, <laughs> impotent. Are they still in business? <laughs> they're still in business, <laughs> and they're going to meet. Let me see. They're going to meet uh, August the ninth. I think that's correct. Uh, in August is their next move. August the ninth. Well, you know the government. They're in, not going to do anything. The government's in a in, in a uh, cost reduction mode. Maybe they could save money by just eliminating those meetings. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, per diem costs be in. down. Per diem costs, but they're going to do nothing, of course. Uh, but unfortunately, that's they should be doing something because we've seen central banks across the globe raising rates. Our central bank has kept rates at zero to a quarter percent about 15 basis points, we've got too much inflation out there. We're going to continue to see more inflation. Er, Ernie, what do you think? And, and to your point, Doug, higher energy costs, and that's a cheap dollar, higher energy costs. Absolutely. From, from a, both a fiscal and a monetary standpoint as an economist, Ernie, what, do you, what would you do if you were on the Federal Reserve Board? I'd be raising rates. I mean, as hard as that is to believe, some people that you are you out of your mind? No, I, I, well perhaps I am, but even <laughs> with my mind where it is, I I recommend raising rates. Why? It's going to get a lot of people to sit on the fence who are waiting on rates to get. Oh wait, they're coming out. So they may, we may get some movement on the housing. If anybody thinks that the housing downturn, the housing pro, the uh, the downturn is being prolonged because of high interest rates, that's not even yeah. not even uh, it's believable by anybody. We need. We don't need higher rates. We need lower inflation, and unfortunately, we need some movement on the Fed there. So, uh, uh, I know uh, uh, Doug, you were saying about higher uh, uh, with the Fed keeping the dollar weak. That's pushed up the oil prices, and uh, as you say, we're we're just not going to see it anytime. I, soon. I absolutely agree with that, and and as you said, the cheaper dollar means you pay more per barrel of oil, and that leaves at least it leaves natural gas, from my perspective, in a very competitive position. Uh, to fuel vehicles and to, to, to fuel homes. So uh, I'm, I'm not so sure that our gasoline prices haven't been too cheap for too long. Okay, and, and I, I, I agree. And, and unfortunately, we're gonna, it's going to be even higher and it's going to pinch the consumer. So this prolonged period of economic, I won't call it stagnation, just we're just not expanding the way we should be.